Hey, what's cracking? It's your boy Millionaire Zach. Some of y'all might know me as Big Zach 214. Just showing y'all a little bit of the lifestyle. You get what I'm saying? I moved from my dad's house and I moved to my grandma's house, which rest her soul, she passed away. That's a good thing, huh? But yeah, my grantee had passed away, rest her soul, you did? And she left a house to the family. So anybody that ain't really got nothing going on, they go crash over there. You did what I'm saying? So I went to go crash over there. Keep in mind, it wasn't no hot water. They took a cold shower. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no real central air and heat. You had the, the window unit in that joint. You had the, uh, Cut on the fan, you know what I'm saying? You had to make do, you had to survive. You did what I'm saying? I don't even think it was a stove in that joint. You know what I'm saying? You had to be a real survivor. And I ain't had no problem with that. Because I had just came from jail for a year, so hey, anything is better than washing your clothes in the toilet. When I was in jail, we had to wash our clothes in the toilet. You know what I'm saying? And we took coach out. But anyway, so I'm in my grantee's house, staring at the wall. I'm trying to think of a way, I'm trying to think of a play, so I can see a better day. Yeah. And uh, I kept driving by this vacant store. Motherfucker said Felice. I remember going to that store back in the gap, you know what I'm saying? Like buying cigars and, you know what I'm saying? Buying little stuff to mix up my little drink with or whatever. You did. But uh, today it was different, you know what I'm saying? It was totally different. Uh, I wrote the number down that was on the bill. Called them. They told me how much they wanted. You know what I'm saying? Came up with the deposit. I called a friend of mine that I knew. He had a little paper. I said, look, I got a proposition. This is what I need. And you know what I'm saying? He made sure I got what I needed. You did what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy. But anyway, so I had some money coming in from a car wreck. You know what I'm saying? An insurance settlement. So I took some of that money, put it with that money that my friend uh, gave me. Let me borrow or whatever. My investor, let's call him that. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, I got the investor. I save every dime I have, you know what I'm saying? Doing little odd jobs, whatever they may be, hustling or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Scraping up my little tools and fuels. So now we got this store. We turned this store into a convenience store. So, you know, convenience stores sell everything. Okay, I went dead broke trying to open this store. You know what I'm saying? Even though I had, you know, uh, financial difficulties, I still had a Mercedes Benz. I sold that to get more money to invest into the store. You dig what I'm saying? And make a long story short, I ended up sleeping in the back of the store, running the store 24 hours, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to make it make sense. And make a long story short, the, the store, it did good, you know what I'm saying? And then it did bad, you know what I'm saying? First thing first, get your LLC. Second, get your business account. Third, Get you some business credit. See, I didn't do none of that. Everything was out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fourth, you know, get you a team. You can't do nothing alone. Get you a team, man. I'm showing y'all all this because I want y'all to get motivated because if I can do it, you can do it. You know what I mean? Now, all I do is coach people. You know what I'm saying? I don't even worry about the store. I coach people. I teach people how to open up businesses. I teach people how to open up LLCs to get funded. You know what I'm saying? I teach people how to live a lifestyle. I walked in the room one day, I went to a meeting, and the man stood up, he said, how many of y'all looked at the stock market today? 
I was the only one raised my hand out of like 50 people. He said, if I would have walked in a room full of millionaires and billionaires, everybody would have had their hand raised. That was like a bad drop to me. That was like, you know what I'm saying? And ever since then, I've just been on my shit.